Hey YouTube, Tech Intimidation here again today and we're going to learn about a quick and easy way to help you potentially simplify the Dropbox file sharing experience. This tip will work when you're sharing a single file using Dropbox and may help you to streamline the downloading experience for yourself and for the end user that you are sharing the file with. So let's get right into it and talk about how do you do this. Uh, let's go to our Dropbox folder. So click on Dropbox, click on the little folder symbol there. And for this example, we're going to use this file right here, which is a video. It's just a video file. And what we want to do is get to the options where we can share a link to this file. So if you right click on Windows or use a two finger gesture, click on the pad on a Mac, Click on share Dropbox link. All this does is copy the link to that file to your clipboard. Then what you're going to want to do is go to your email. So in this case, I use Gmail. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome and go to my email account and I'm going to make a new message. We're just going to send this to myself. And we're just going to paste this link in here. So here is a long link with gobbledygook and you can see the file name in here and at the end it has DL equals zero. That's the part that we're going to pay attention to because all you need to do is change this zero right here to a one and that will force the end user to automatically download it instead of viewing the file in the browser. So we're going to leave that first one as is and change the same, this is the same link the second time, we're going to change the second one. So we're going to use both of these and see how they will behave for the end user. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to myself. Click send, message has been sent, check our inbox, here's the email. So this first link is unchanged, right, still has a zero at the beginning, let's see how it behaves for the end user that you shared the link with. So I click on it, a new tab opens and sends me to Dropbox. And in the browser, the file is opened. We can see it's a video here, there's a play button. And probably what the person is gonna do is click play. Yeah, they're gonna click play and watch the video. And they may notice up at the top, there's a button up here to either directly download the file to their computer or save it to their own Dropbox account. Um, also, they may be prompted to sign in and some other things to create a Dropbox account and whatnot. That may come up um, also when they click on this link. So that's not a bad option, um, but there are a few steps and extra clicks needed for them just to get to the part where they can download the file instead of all these other options. So that's how the first link behaves with no changes to it. But with the second link where we just changed the zero to a one, let's see how it behaves and what happens when we click on it. So I click, opens a new tab, and the tab closes. And down at the bottom, you can see that the file is automatically starting to download. It's kind of a big file, it's gonna take a few minutes. But that eliminates all those other um, things that could potentially confuse or get in the way of your person just downloading the file that you wanted to share with them. And all we had to do was change the zero at the end, DL equals zero, change the zero to a one, DL equals one at the very end of the link right here. So why would this be useful? Well for me it's useful because I share a lot of video files using Dropbox and some users would click the link and just watch the video and never download their own copy. So whenever they wanted to watch it again, they would go back to this link and click it again, be sent to Dropbox, and just view this video over and over again instead of downloading their own copy. Then eventually when I would remove the file, because video files are big and they take up a lot of space in my Dropbox, they would complain that the video is gone and they can't see it anymore and what happened, why is it broken. Um, so by changing this 0 to a 1, it forces them to download their own copy here. 
which then they are viewing on their own computer instead of via Dropbox. So it eliminates the problems that you may have if the person doesn't realize they need to download their own copy for them to keep. Um, the nice side effect of that is that it saves a lot of bandwidth usage if you have um, problems with running into the bandwidth cap with your Dropbox account, which may happen if you're sharing lots of large files. We don't have a pro account. Um, it's happened to me before where I was sharing videos in large files and some people were watching the videos over and over again and I would run into the bandwidth cap and my Dropbox account would be locked. So by changing that 0 to a 1, it forced them to download it and they only have to download the file once instead of over and over again every time if they were going back to Dropbox to view it. <laughs> the other second case is much simpler. It's also useful if you just have people that aren't as tech savvy and maybe would have trouble just even finding this Dropbox link at the top here to download. If they would even have trouble seeing that this option is up here, which is possible. I mean, it's not, it is kind of prominent, but it's easy to miss. So that is the tip. Just changing this zero to a one at the very end could save you a lot of headaches and time in the future. So that will be it for today. Um, I will be uploading more videos here in the future. And thanks for watching.